I think that Malik Scott prepared him just to last longer. I think that in his heart, I think Malik knew, and this is based on the interview that I watched yesterday, or actually today, he did an interview at five o'clock in the morning. He couldn't go to sleep. And I can just tell by his words, and he got very emotional in that interview, that they basically trained him to just last as long as he could. And it seemed that as if they knew that there was no way that Deontay would be able to beat you know, Tyson unless he was able to knock him out. Um, and, you know, kudos to Malik, but in my opinion, again, I think that the game plan, the game plan of having him come in that heavy was a little, was off. I, I, I thought that he should have came in, uh, light on his feet and not be so much on his back foot the way he was. I think the jab, like, look, let's just be honest, jabbing to a body, like a guy like Tyson Fury isn't going to do any damage. That's just the reality, right? You got to jab to the face and set up the right hand. That's the only way that I think.